And Ricky says, Don't look at me like that with those bug eyes, sir. Adam says, It's your stupid silk slacks, dumbass. Which I was like, what? And then Ricky says, Sadly, you didn't take style from the other place. And then Adam says, And you took it from the rock. Good job. And there's like this weird, awkward pause. It was very awkward. Mm -hmm. And then Adam says, Can't help that you're a vanilla midget version of that, but shut your mouth and talk to him instead of me, kid. Know your role. I was like, whoa, what's going on here? And then Ricky says, wow, that really sent me over the edge. I asked around. I didn't hear anything about there being any problem. Okay? Doesn't mean there's not. But <laughs> Jay White then gets down on one knee and presents a ring to Juice. And that cuts a promo that has nothing to do with the promo he cut on Wednesday. It sure did seem to me that this exact same angle, like they were going to do it with the roll of quarters. But after oh. Wednesday, they instead of they've decided to switch it to a diamond ring. Chris tried to give her a handshake and be a baby face. Sky blew her off. And as Brian noted, Willow ran out Excuse there. Excuse me? Oh, God. Sky blew, blew her off. Yes, thank you. You know what uh, AEW needs to do here? Is just take the best of Brian Danielson in 2023 alone, make it a standalone pay per view, and it would be the best show of all time. <laughs> it was uh, bookended with segments from Raw, to be honest with you. But, it actually um, was. But you know what? Raw's hot. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's worse ideas, yeah. Have you like seen the trailer weeks. for the Von Erich movie, The Iron Claw? If so, what yes. did you think about it? All we see was still photos and trying to emulate the Von Erichs visually with all the same mixed results. We haven't had a field trip in a long time, boss man. Might be time. We're all going to go to the movies together? <laughs> no, we're going to Texas. <laughs> and watch a movie. What's going on, everybody? What's up? A little this, you want to tell that. us why you're crabby, Vinny? There's not really a reason. I've just been in a bad mood all day. And, uh, we talked about it before the show, and everybody was like, how's that any different than yeah. usual? Uh, he looks mean. Thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I've been called worse. Vince was a Carolina native and is no longer head of creative. He hired some gals to service his pals, but now he's just real masturbative. <laughs> Excuse wow. me. Wow. Granny's disgusted. I don't even know what a limerick is, because I don't care. <laughs> Story adds up. Droids and Jay plant Kevin with a Cody Cutter for a win. What's a Cody Cutter? <laughs> Didn't you watch it? Uh, Uh-oh. I don't, I don't know. Did we catch you? <laughs> you read the review and copied it, but didn't actually watch the match. Right. Wow. <laughs> Smart girl. Is there a lady tied to the tracks, Craig, or what's going on over there? <laughs> Things are going on for five minutes. What am I supposed to do about it? I'm not blaming you. I'm just asking. I don't understand trains. And I also heard rumors that uh, Steffi and Triple H were getting divorced. Haven't you asked this question multiple times mm -hmm. and made the show very uncomfortable? Why is it uncomfortable? Well, because we don't thinking. know. It's just rumors. It's not our business. Yeah, you wouldn't want rumors that, like, Vinny and Bridget broke up. Say yeah. what now? <laughs> cool. Excuse that sucks. Me. Oh, and I did watch a match. They uh, had toilet paper all over the ring, and they were throwing fruit around, and uh, it just all this stuff, they were. it was just awful. There were two chairs in the ring, and one was sitting with an old woman knitting, and the other one was a guy sleeping. And here these guys were doing all the fighting while they were still sitting there. Huh? And they were throwing eggs. <laughs> and What? B.G. James. He likes to bend the guy over no pun intended, right? and hump him in the ass, correct? Has been yes. doing it for he years. Thrusts, okay, he, he bends him over and he humps him in the, the ass, right? I just did that. <laughs> Yeah. Bruce exhibits joy right. at the possibility of this ass humping. And BG's like, God, he freaks out. Now it's creepy. Yes. He enjoys the rape. He only wants to hump you in the ass if it's rape. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Listen, I know that came off poorly, but, it, <laughs> but am I wrong? A large portion of this mash devoted to sodomy comedy. Why can I not do anything different without people in the chat freaking out? I wore a hat. Golly. Every time I wear a hat, people freak the fuck out that I wear a hat. It's just a hat. Myself and Leonard have a $100 bet on whether or not Jay White is going to win the title from MJF at wow. this next pay-per-view. He's convinced that Jay White is winning, and I am convinced that he is a fool 
the idea was that they were going to do the quarter deal playing off all of this horrible stuff that happened to MJF as a child. And how in the world would MJF lose that feud? Of course he's going to win. Build some matches up or whatever. And then eventually it started doing that, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, like I'm trying not to sneeze. I failed. Yeah. A fine little TV match that would have seemed a lot more important if the video package had aired last week. I thought that this was uh, better than fine. I thought they worked their asses off. MJF in introduces himself, offers a handshake, but then pulls himself close and whispers in his ear, 13 days, bitch. And I have no idea what that's about. In 13 days, he will beat Kenny Omega's record as the longest reigning AW champion of all time. I believe most people have discovered that this jumped the shark here this week. That yeah. seems to be the prevailing thought. Everything that he said was true. It was Super Brawl 8. It was Chris Jericho versus Juventud Guerrera. And Hobbs was there with his, his grandmother in the front row. And Jericho walked by and told her to shut up and told him to sit his ass down. And all these nerds going, whatever happened to the New Japan Kenny Omega? Where's that guy at? You know where he is fucking? He's been there the whole time and he showed it on this match. He's just fucking unbelievable. I used to say the only thing for sure about Sting is nothing for sure. Now the only thing for sure about Sting is retirement at Revolution 2024 is for sure. Wow. Jim Ross sit down interview with Nick Wayne and his mom. And his mother. Yes. That is her name. I and his mother. They just trademarked it. Better than most battle royals because there were subplots going on through. Well, they almost always. I mean, 99 times out of 100, their battle royals are pretty great. And they do a lot of battle royals. Baron Corbin, at least in this segment, was playing the part of Vinny V. You're just being a fanboy. Fans belong in the stands, not in the ring. You sucked up to John Cena. You sucked up to The Undertaker. You even sucked up to Cody Rhodes at some points. If you concentrated on being a superstar instead of a fan, you might still have your championship. Trick is trying to assure Melo they are good. But Corbin says, no, 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 you're running your mouth. You went into business for yourself. You got yourself put into a match where you don't belong. You did it all behind his back and didn't even tell him about it. Okay. Here we are, October 19th, 2023. I am Baron Corbin's biggest fan. All he does is tell the truth. We were just talking on the chat about Vince being gone. Thank God that fucking guy is gone for a lot of reasons. If he would have watched this segment, Mello would never be on the main roster. Poor Mello looks like a hobbit. Yeah. My agility is so slick, it glides. My athleticism is so smooth, it slides. <laughs> okay. The fuck? Trick was removed. Yes. From this match. They had uh, Kelly Kincaid. She uh, says, I was just howling. And she goes, we don't know who it was, but whoever it was, definitely did not want to see Trick challenge Ilya Dragunov for the NXT title. I was like, what the fuck kind of unbiased reporting is that? Jesus Christ. I, Brinley Reese, should have been in this tournament from the beginning. Brinley Reese. She exercises a lot, and she points to her bicep and says, it's time to get big with Bryn. Overall, this was a good show. Yeah, good show. And uh, yeah, next week, there's uh, there's a lot of women's matches, as you note. And uh, one thing that WWE is not afraid to do, and that is a lot of women's matches. Yes. I've talked about this a million times, broken record, but I do think that uh, AEW is missing the boat on the women. <laughs>